I'm a musician, a music producer, and a lifelong fan of music and music technology. I've owned more Bluetooth speakers, wireless headphones, and related gadgets than I can count. So naturally, I was excited to get to try this wireless speaker from Canadian company Blue Sound. My first impressions upon unboxing were, this feels nice, really nice. I'm not a fan of the soft touch rubberized coating because experience taught me that this deteriorates and turns into a sticky mess within about three or four years. But the speaker is super solid, weighty and creak free. A pet peeve of mine is buying a piece of tech that can't be used until you download an app and create an account. This is one of those devices. I know to unlock the advanced features, I'm gonna need that app. But when I first get it home, I just wanna connect it to my phone and at least hear how it sounds before I start fiddling with accounts and software. But I gave in and went through the setup process. This speaker has to be connected to your Wi-Fi before you can set it up. So forget about buying one on a road trip. You'll have to give it access to your home internet before it will even make sound. After that, you can eventually enable Bluetooth in the app and only then can you take it away from your home and use it in a portable setting. Wait, actually you can't. Despite being advertised as a portable speaker, this has to be plugged into the mains outlet at all times, unless you buy the optional battery, which adds another $100 to the bill. So for the speaker with a battery, you're at 450 bucks. The audio it produces has a nice, tight, punchy bass that isn't drony, and the mids and highs are clear and well separated. It sounds great, if you don't mind hearing all your music in mono. You see, music is recorded in stereo. That's how it's been since longer than I've been alive. Stereo is how music should be and is designed to be heard. But don't worry, if you care about the sound of your music at all, Blue Sound has a solution. Just buy a second unit and link them together. Now you can hear your songs the way they were actually supposed to sound. And to keep things portable, you'll need another battery for that second speaker. So now you're at $900 for a small pair of stereo wireless speakers. With taxes, that's over a thousand bucks. So what are you getting for that kind of coin? This is where I cut them some slack for now. You're getting Wi-Fi driven audio. That means no interruptions, no signal loss anywhere in the home and speedy response when cycling through tracks. You're getting good, maybe great sound quality. It's hard to tell when it's only in mono. You're getting built-in compatibility with Spotify, iTunes, and all your other favorite streaming services. You get Alexa and Siri voice control. You get Bluetooth APTX, which means high audio quality and almost no latency, except no. No, you're not getting low latency at all. In fact, this is the worst latency I've seen on a Bluetooth speaker in the last decade. There's a huge amount of lag when using this on Bluetooth and I just don't get it. All my other APTX hardware has latency so low I can barely notice it. This on the other hand is so laggy, I can hit play, go and put the kettle on, maybe take a bath, mow the lawn, come back and then it starts to play. 
Well, maybe that's a slight exaggeration, but using this speaker to watch videos is definitely a no-go. The lag makes it unusable, at least on Bluetooth. You'll have to stick with Wi-Fi, and that means staying home and leaving this speaker with access to your internet connection at all times. So, all things considered, what do I really think about this speaker? I think for $350, $450 if you want it to be portable, and $900 if you want stereo music, and let's be honest, why wouldn't you want stereo music? I think it's just overpriced. If you're going to put Bluetooth APTX in your product and use that as a selling point, you have to make it work. And don't force us to install software and set up an app before we can even test out the sound. First and foremost, it should work like any other speaker and let us immediately connect our phones and play some tunes. We can set the other stuff up later. If you don't mind sticking with Wi-Fi only and you have the cash for two or more units, then this is a well-built, internet-friendly or even internet-reliant system that sounds really good and has high-end build quality. But for me, it feels in the core purpose of a portable speaker, i.e. it's not actually portable, unless you buy an expensive optional battery. The audio is mono and the Bluetooth is more laggy than a three-legged donkey walking uphill through a molasses spill. So for me, I'm sorry, but I, I have to give this one a miss.